vitamin D deficiency. Um, and it could be, and they just want to see if it's not a major health concern, such as um, hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. And then they do blood tests to check for medical conditions that may also cause depressive symptoms, so like anemia, thyroid, or other hormone and calcium and vitamin D levels. That's cool. And you can see right here, like that's your thyroid gland over there. And then this would be like a regular um, thyroid gland. And then this is like an enlarged part. So some basic symptoms of depression revolve around feeling sad or anxious all the time. So people label it as kind of like having an empty mood, as well as feelings of hopelessness or decreased level of energy. Usually people who are depressed don't want to go out and usually just want to stay in their room. Um, difficulty concentrating and making decisions as well as appetite and weight changes. And many have thoughts of death and suicide. It's proven that suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States, as well as self-harm. So one in five females, um, and one in seven males usually engage in self-harm. And some typical types of depression are persistent depressive disorder, which is a chronic disorder in which a person's mood is just typically very low, and this tends to last for like approximately two years. Postpartum depressive disorder, which is depression suffered by a mother after um, following childbirth, and it's due to like the hormonal change as well as the psychological adjustment of being a mother. Um, psychotic depression, which is a form of depression caused from psychosis, which includes like hearing voices or having hallucinations, and it's just like in your mind, so nobody else sees it but you. Bipolar disorder, which is depression associated with mood swings that include either being extremely happy or, or being like, extremely angry. And seasonal affective disorder is depression related to like changes in the season, so usually it relates to late autumn and winter when there's like a lack of sunlight. So these are just disorders that also cause depression symptoms, which um, like Tamara said, bipolar one and two disorder, which is just, it causes mood swings. And sometimes it's actually hard to tell between bipolar disorder and depression. And there's psychothymic disorder, which is highs and lows milder than those of, bi of a bipolar disorder. And there's a disruptive mood dysregulation disorder um, that it, this mood or disorder in children includes chronic and severe disability and anger, um, frequent extreme temper outbursts, and then there's the premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which involves depression symptoms associated with someone's like um, hormones when they change, and then the other depression disorders some have to do with um, recreational drugs, some prescribed medications, or other medical conditions.
um, neuro neurotransmitters that alter pain, that's what we'll see problems, insomnia, or lack of sleep, and fatigue are indicated with depression. So, in this example, you can see that the more depressed you are, the higher the number on the scale is. Okay, so basically, in the way in which this impacts the nervous system is that this can result in like a decreased rate of breathing or a decreased heart rate and also a loss of consciousness. And some treatment that has been found to help combat depression is going to support groups. So usually when people are surrounded amongst others that are going through similar situations, it helps them get out of the idea that they're alone or that they're the only ones going through this difficult time. So relaxation techniques such as meditation and yoga have been found to be beneficial as well as consulting with a therapist or different types of medication like antidepressants, which help um, combat the illness because depression is labeled as an illness. These are just some of our sources. Any questions? Okay. 